Hi, thank you for joining me on the mat again. I wanted to show you a challenging advanced series with the fitness ball that you can do on its own if you have warmed up plenty or as an addition to one of the other series shown here on the platform. Um, the moves are supposed to take you to the edge. They're difficult, they're challenging, so please mind your form. These are probably not for you if you have wrist or shoulder issues, so just please stay safe always. Let's go ahead and place the ball down for a moment and let's go ahead and do some shoulder rolls. Let's do some shoulder rolls back. One more. And then we'll do them forwards, just three. I'll bring my arms up. You should already be warm from another workout. I'm just doing a little bit more shoulder work just to make sure that the shoulders are ready for what's to come. One more. And bring the arms down. I'm going to go ahead and get on the ball. I will start a little bit further away from my mat so that my hands, my wrists end up on the mat throughout the move. I will lay on my ball and walk forwards. I like to keep my legs together and probably about from the knee back on the ball will give you a little bit more control. If you go forward a little bit more, it'll be more challenging. Further back, it'll be slightly easier. So we keep our wrists under our shoulders. Let's start with flexing our knees into the chest and exhaling, taking them out back on a plank. This is like knee stretches. If you have done work on the reformer, here we're using the ball as the reformer. We'll do 10. Make sure that you're not arching your back at all. Stay strong through the front of the body and the back of your body. I'll do two more. To get off the ball, walk back like you did to get on it. Great. Just to explain and rest for a moment, we can sit on the ball, do some wrist circles. I will do the same, but this time I will bring my knees rather than to my chest, I will bring them towards each elbow. So we can do this up to 10 times as well. I'll walk forward. Remember, you do not want to collapse and arch your back, so stay strong. I will come towards the device first so that you can see me. I bring my knees over to one elbow and then roll back to center. I'll go to the other elbow. I'm working on my obliques here. Always mark your plank well as you go back to center. I'm going to do five to each side. I'm rotating from the waist one more each side last time my shoulders stay over my wrist throughout and I walk back and rest you can always rest or the ball releasing all the muscles imagine you're melting over your ball as before we can get off the ball, sit for a moment, and do circles with our wrists one way and then the other. You don't have to do all these moves together. You can, but they're challenging, they're a lot, so feel free to do them separately. Um, add them to your routine as you see fit. I'll keep going. I'll show some more moves here. We'll go forward. Hands again underneath your shoulders, strong in the front of my body and the back of my body. I'm going to tap the floor with each leg. Leg is straight. I'm going to tap and come back up. Tap 
and up. Sometimes this is a lot and then I just lift leg. I actually find these even more challenging, but they're optional. Tap. I'm going to tap and tap. I'll do five each side. I think one more to go. Tap and tap. Again, another possibility of getting off the ball. You can just bring one leg down and bring the other. Not as elegant, but it works. Sit on the ball and do some circles. Next exercise will be pikes on the ball. So what I will do is the same as the knee stretches, except for I will keep my knees straight. I will show it from a, a very small pike to a full pike. Again, as always, stay safe. So listen to your body, see how far up you can go. I will start again behind my mat, lay on my ball and roll it forwards until I find my position on the ball, adjust the ball as needed. Here, again, wrists underneath shoulders. I'm strong in the front of my body and in the back of my body. I'm going to keep my legs straight. This would be a small pike. I'm only hinging at the hips. Everything else is staying strong. I'll make it bigger. So again, just stay safe. See how far you can go. And I'm going to keep going. I inhale to go up into my pike. Really have my wrist, uh, my, my whole core is connected. My ribs are in and I lift up my hips but you're totally fine if you're just doing your little, little pikes. I'll do about two more. Again, remember, this is a very advanced move. Take it one step at a time and come on down. One knee, the other knee. Let's go into child's pose. And rest, you can do it with your ball. It feels good to do it with the ball in front of you because it will really help you stretch out your shoulders. Excellent work there. Let's go ahead and stretch a little bit. There's plenty more moves we'll explore in another series. Keep your hips over your knees. If this bothers your knees, please make sure you roll up your mat, place it under your knees, a little bit more cushion for them. Let's go ahead and do cat stretches here, adapted to the ball. We'll inhale, round forward, take the ball forward. Keep your hips over your knees and stretch out. My tailbone is going up towards the ceiling. And then I round back and bring the ball back. I'm going to do that twice more. I'm going to roll the ball forward, bring my tailbone towards the ceiling, stretch my shoulders here, my back, and roll back. Just one more. I'll go forwards. Bring my tailbone to the ceiling, arch my back, feel a beautiful stretch in my shoulders, and Roll up. I'm going to sit on my ball, do the circles with my wrists again. Remember, these are challenging advanced moves. Try them with care. I hope you enjoyed this series. I'll see you next time on the mat. Thank you so much for joining me.